if you want to get into racing and you just want to throw a little pretty penny at it, syndication is the way to go. Yeah, I think so, because it is really expensive to actually own a racehorse. And uh, if you can get in with uh, a lot of uh, different other people, it's just seems like the, the cost of it doesn't seem so harsh uh, but there's a lot of money to be made and um, yeah Denise Martin she's uh, she's done it so well and successfully she's got plenty of owners uh, in her horses and she's a, she loves the magic millions doesn't she? she has lots of luck there and I'm sure she's gonna be buying up big next week yeah and it's great to see when you're in a syndication so many people involved make a few friends and get along to the races as well speaking of the magic millions held on the Gold Coast uh, in this coming week it is a feature race day here on seven but also so now the home to someone I know very well. Here is Lee Friedman. Lee, after spending three and a half years in Singapore, what drew you to come back to the Gold Coast? Well, I was really enjoying Singapore, but uh, the racing was gone there pretty much. They reduced it to one meeting a week and the clients were disappearing, so I thought it was time to come home. I, I actually chose the Gold Coast because its climate's similar and um, it looks to have some upside. With all the improvements the Gold Coast Turf Club have in place and what they have planned for the future, how do you see the future of racing at the Gold Coast? Well, you know, I think if everything comes off, it'll be very, very bright because uh, the improvements that they're going to make are, uh, are very much necessary to turn it into a first-class racing destination. And, uh, of course, the way the Gold Coast is going, there's going to be probably a doubling of the population here in the next five to ten years. So... It'll have a very captive audience, and um, if the improvements happen as we expect they will, um, that audience will be very much needed. And the Magic Moons Week has turned into a week really not to be missed. How important is the Magic Moons to a stable like yours? Oh, it's important. Probably not so much to me because um, the type of horses we train up here are probably not of the uh, expensive nature like Magic Million horses are. Um, we be looking at a slightly lesser market, but in terms of Australian racing, it's incredibly important because it's become, you know, uh, arguably the equal leading sale in the country yep. now. Well, there you go. Dad has stolen Richo's hat yes. uh, at the Gold Coast today, looking an absolute treat in that Schwitzing Gold Coast heat. He has got Elvina in the next at the Gold Coast Race 5 up there, the Magic Millions Rising Stars, three-year-old and four-year-old fillies and mares, class floor plate. Let's get a hot horse.